nothing quite like a Joseph Parker ring walk. From the blackness, to the footage, to the sounds, to the standing ovation, Joseph Parker is here, the main event is on. Well, we know that Junior Farah is slightly older. He doesn't have the same experience. He is 10 kilos heavier, and he has a much longer reach advantage. Joe's the bigger puncher when he's able to set his feet and punch nice and hard. He ties them in well together, but by doing so, sometimes leaves a little bit one-dimensional. Little right hand caught Parker coming in. Both of them hitting and holding. Well, they've got to work pretty quickly. Both of them chopping off the break again. Well, they were all smiles. They got no problem throwing bombs over the top. Parker looking for that overhand right as he dips. Junior looks so relaxed, even on the clinches after the exchanges. Just gets in there, holds, smothers. Very relaxed look on his face. Promising signs for the young men. Well, he took care of the right hand again, just jamming it. Parker going downstairs. And that was his uh, trademark shot. He likes to get that angle off the right. Forearm in front of the face. John the Rebel Conway being busy already. That's uh, changing up the jab into the left hook right hand is Parker's money punch. Uh, looks pretty relaxed in there still. Parker probably a little bit more intent. Has a greater sense of urgency right now. Parker showing up and then going downstairs. He, he's starting to just find a rhythm and varying his shots more. There's a big shot from Parker over the top. Looking for it again. Junior Farr holding on and trying it. John the Rebel Conway coming in and separating them. Definitely saw him wobble at the knees there. Well, he's felt it now. He's felt the power. You mentioned Eugene Broom is there to stay confident. It's a bit hard to stay confident when you feel the power. And Junior Farr coming back, landing a glancing right hand. When he lands that jab, it's hard for Parker to get inside the range. Parker's using his variation with his lead hand and his ability to cut him off just to create traps and walk him onto the right hand more often than not. Junior doing a wonderful job. Tying Parker up. Bigger man. 15 seconds to go in the third round of 12. Joseph Parker, though, had a good round. There's the left hook coming upstairs off the right hand. Park. Fighting back on the inside. There's another right hand from Far. Much better round for him. Joseph Parker just got a little quiet and he got caught coming in with the jab as well. Left hook. First one we've seen from Junior Far. You can just see the weight of his forearms. Change that left hook up into a little up jab. Bit of confidence coming out of Junior Far, and this is the sixth round. Sixth round so far. A lot of joy. Joy in various positions as well. Levels, it was just here, cut above Junior's left eye as Joseph goes to work on his midsection. He pulls back with the right hand. Got to get that eye seen to. This is round number seven. Parker's just looking a little bit ragged. He's just stepping in and throwing. He's not constructing the way he did in rounds three and four, Monty. Definitely a lot more laboured in the speed of his punching. Lenny, we mentioned that Kevin said you've got to keep your feet underneath you. By doing that, you aren't reaching. You are taking that extra bit of footwork or steps. We saw that over and right. First one of the night, really. Still didn't quite connect. The shoulder roll helped him. There's a, that's the second time we've seen Far use that. Little forearm frame, step away with the right hand. The overhand right though was the heavier shot. Came down on the back of the ear and the neck of Junior Far. Seemed to take it okay though. Come on guys, don't get sloppy, let's go. Round eight of 12. Big right hand there from Joseph Parker. Oh, 
Punching oh. off the break. Yeah. Took it well, though. There's a the left hook that landed. Kevin Barry called it between rounds. Break! Part, guys, part. Right back. Back up, guys. Right wow. It's getting heated in there. Break! Far as uh, he's, he's actually timing the jab of Parker. He managed to get on the outside of that more frequently than not. Stop! Right! Call from Kim and Barry straight back. He feels that he's tiring. Junior Far has got to get there beautifully. It came around that corner. Yeah, he's just turning the corner. He's framing. He knows where the. Knows where Parker is. Let's just go, those little go, chopping shots that just let's go. every time they're going to annoy Joseph Parker. It's annoying. It's frustrating. Parker's just looking a little arm weary now. Working away to the body, chopping away there. Bar stepping back on the right hand. Break! He, he's just doing a lot of blocking with the forearms. He's controlling the bicep. And that's uh, not allowing Parker to, to keep free. And you see there, as soon as he misses with that left hand, Parker's got his head down, so he'll just stay there. A little bit of claret coming from the eye of Junior Fart. Doesn't look too bad at this point. These rounds are going to be very hard to score as well, particularly with Junior Fart landing, jabbing, and then grabbing. Parker has to do the work on the inside. Otherwise, Far ends up coming away with the points. He's just getting a beat on that punch every time he brings it in. Just enough to evade him, just enough to cover up. Swinging wildly with the right hand, Parker. Well, the crowd is starting to cover up. Looks like there's a lot more blood coming from that eye now. Junior, the eyes on the man. Oh, there you go. Just the elbow corner at the very end then. The punch itself glazed off the deltoid, came through, but his elbow, unfortunately, with that follow through motion, just snip it. Great work from the cameraman capturing that one. Now, this is going to be very interesting to see how the judges come to this, what they're going to judge. They're going to favour the aggression of Parker. Those close rounds are going to be critical. Parker again, I don't think he wants to be holding. He wants to try and get his hands free. 40 seconds to go. Needs to be punching. Right hand again there. Now he goes upstairs, downstairs, Parker. 30 seconds. The crowd is on his feet. Both corners are on their feet. Referee John Conway, sweat pouring all over his back. He's had a lot of work to do separating these two. Chopping right hand there. Here we go, 10 seconds. Both boys trying to free the hands. Both of them punching away. And both claiming victory. A visibly frustrated Joseph Parker. Junior Far hands in the air. He has proven the naysayers wrong. This was a very, very close fight indeed in the end. After 12 rounds of professional championship heavyweight boxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores the bout 109-119. Judge two scores the bout 113-115. And judge three scores the bout 111 to 117. For your winner by unanimous decision, fighting in the blue corner! Someone needs a new prescription. The closer and more relevant scorecard, probably 113, 115. Parker was rewarded for his aggression. But there were clear rounds for Junior Park, and there's been a couple of contentious decisions tonight. Don't argue with Parker winning. I think it was a lot closer than 109, 119.